Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about how to add expressions with like denominators. So let's, let's look at what we have. We have a, uh, a over 4 plus 3a over 4. So we're adding basically fractions, but the fractions have a variable in them. So all we have to do when you're adding fractions is you have to have a common denominator. Well, these two have a common denominator of 4. So I'm just going to bring my denominator over. Then what you do is you apply the operation to the numerator or to the top. So I'm going to take the a and add it to 3a. So this is going to simplify to, well that's a 1a plus 3a. That simplifies to 4a over 4. Well this answer will then simplify because a over a, or 4 over 4 is just 1. So this simplifies just to a. Or you could put a 1 in front of it for 1a, but when you have a coefficient of 1, it's just assumed to be there. Okay, so let's look at this next one. We have 11 over 4r minus a negative 1 over 4r. Again, we have common denominator. So we're just going to bring that common denominator over. And then we're going to subtract the numerator or the top. So we're going to have 11 minus a negative 1. Well, 11 minus a negative, double negative, becomes a positive. So I now have 12 over 4r. Now notice we can reduce this. 4 goes into 12 evenly. So let's just reduce this. That becomes 1. That becomes 3. So that's 3 over r. And there is our final answer. Okay, so let's try another one. Another subtraction. So we have 5y sixth minus y over 6. So again, we have a common denominator. Let's bring the common denominator of 6 over. The numerator is 5y minus y. Well, remember, a y really has a lead coefficient of 1, so if you need to, draw that in there. So 5y minus 1y is 4y over 6. And again, we can reduce this time by 2. So let's take a 2 out of each, and then that leaves us with 2y over 3. So it's 2 thirds y or 2y over 3. Okay, now let's look at one with a common denominator, but this time we have two terms in our numerators or in the top. So again, we apply the same rule. Since we have a common denominator, we don't have to multiply by any factors. We just bring the common denominator over. Take your numerator and place it in the top. So we're going to add this numerator. Now, what do we get when we have a 1t and a 1t? These are the like terms. So we're going to add a 1t and a 1t to 2t. And we're going to add the 2 and the 5 to 7. And then just bring our common denominator with it. So our final answer would be 3, or I'm sorry, 2t plus 7 all over 3. And there is our final answer. Hope this video was helpful.